This is the second time that IREC meets in Southeast Asia since our first meeting in 2014 in Manila. A lot has changed since then. We are witnessing an unprecedented momentum to tackle energy access at the global level, and off-grid renewable solutions have emerged as the mainstream solution to expand such access. This is the fourth IREC I've gone to because there is a, a healthy mix of practitioners and enterprises as well as policymakers, also representatives from financial institutions who have failed and succeeded. People who are on the fence. I know of people who have jumped the side of the fence after coming to IREC and that's the key for us. We should have a proper policy and regulation and we have to create an enabling environment that attracts many actors supporting the movement of mini-grid to be in place. The second issue is that utility has to open to all the stakeholders. There's a private sector, there is a community, there is an NGO, and also local community who should be engaged in that mini-grid. In every country, there are people, there are enterprises that show what's possible. So to really learn from those front runners, as we call them, uh, and to see how to scale up their, their innovations or their solutions. There are three types of capital that is needed. One is the enterprise finance, one is end user finance, and third, most importantly for them, is failure money that they can go and experiment and fail. The impact is, is huge in the long term. If you look at the, 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 the productive activities that uh, result, we are building an ecosystem that is not only positive from the social perspective, but also from the productive perspective that builds economies at the grassroots, at the village levels. Governments need to look at electricity access from a delivery of services perspective. A focus on education, health and livelihoods, services will drive efforts towards electrification and maximizing benefits. At this year's IREC, we placed special emphasis in our discussion on the fundamental importance of renewable energy solutions for harnessing the synergies between the various SDGs. And it's for this reason that working together with our partners, we've brought together the energy and health communities to collectively address critical challenges of unelectrified and underserved health centers in developing countries. Healthcare delivery service is a 24-hour job. When it's dark, you need light. So electricity becomes quite important for you to effectively deliver the services that you need. Further to this, you're looking at the young people who we are recruiting in the health sector. Without electricity, they think they've been marginalized and the turnover is quite high. It's a wonderful uh, opportunity to bring these, uh, the experts in the energy sector and the experts in the health sector. And I come together, converge and bring, bring wonderful things in the health sector uh, with this nexus. An important step is to collectively discuss how different institutions and stakeholders can work together to realize universal sustainable energy access for healthcare facilities. This includes an assessment of delivery models that are tailored to local conditions and ensuring that the roles and responsibilities of system management and maintenance are clearly distributed along with financial resources. When we look at how the government can optimize and use their limited resources, when they see the whole series of investment they have to make in a country and all these critical services that they have to you know, build in. Definitely without a public-private partnership approach, it's going to be very, very difficult to you know, extend the services. This event is very useful for me because I was only involved at the national level and with a few states and coming here that there is a wonderful international community and bringing all of them together and see that there is there is a passion in driving this agenda of this health and energy nexus. It is a great inspiration for me and it makes me go back and work with greater intensity.